Hi everyone. I am going to give you a disclaimer right now about this video you're fixing to watch. It is not educational. <laughs> it is not how to. It is how not to do a 3D pour. And I learned by doing it. Um, it's 21 minutes long and <clears throat> the end results are not what you think they are. So, anyway, hope you enjoy it. Um, I edited the heck out of it because it was over an hour. So, anyway, you guys enjoy and laugh, will you? It's funny. Bye. Here we go. Hi, y'all. I am going to paint this Easter egg here. And all it is is a big ass, excuse me, a big bottomed hollow Easter egg with two halves. And then I um, covered it with gesso. Had a little bit of issue down here. I'm not worried about it, it's the bottom. And then I super glued it together and then I filled in the crack. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's actually pretty smooth. Um, with plaster of Paris and then I sanded it once it was done drying. And I'm just gonna do a pour on it and we're just gonna have some fun. So, um, I need to put my apron on, but I wanted y'all to kind of see my new shirt. Isn't it fabulous? It's so cute. It's got a little eyebrow. <laughs> anyway, all right, let me move that camera just a little bit. Make sure you're still in frame. You are. Okay, cool. I hope you can see that mustache. So I'm just gonna cover this real quick. And I ain't shaved today, so for the last couple of days, I just haven't felt like it much. Can you see that other project? Oh, good, no, good. Because there's a surprise coming up here in a few days. I'll just give you a little hint. Everyone has two of them. <laughs> okay, anyway. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a, a base coat on it of white. And this is just, this is just house paint, an acrylic latex based house paint. I mix it pretty thin. And then I put in Floetrol and water just to get it going. And when you're pouring a 3D painting, y'all, you're gonna have some cast off. You're gonna have waste. It's kind of hard not to, they're hard to judge um, unless you're a mathematician. And please nobody come at me with an, a formula on how to do it because I won't remember it and I won't do it. So I don't care. I'm just telling you for me, there's gonna be waste. It's just, you know, there's a price to pay for just about anything you do in life. And at which point does that inflation get too high and when you stop either being friends with somebody or stop doing something, uh, like jail, that would be a good inflation point at which someone would not drink and drive anymore. Yeah, so, um, and I gotta be careful here because this is precariously placed on this grate. And I've just got it over a non-stick pan. It's evening out pretty well, so. And my, my experience with the 3D pouring is that thicker is better, because it doesn't go away as quickly. Makes you I hope I don't get in trouble by having that man playing in my background. I just can't help it. He's just, I listen to him 24 seven. And I really should be careful because I'd probably get caught for stalking if I was in England. Because hey, that's a cute one. Uh, he's young too, dang. He was 15 and I think he said 2002. That's only a few years ago, or 2012. I can't remember what he said. It was on one of his um, live concerts off of YouTube that I saw. So I'm just making sure I get an even coat. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Let me just get this going. I want to get a good base coat on here.
but I have an idea. My nose is running like a damn sip. <sighs> snot. It's not good. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to tip this bad boy up. This. And I am going to. No, this is what I'm going to do. No, I'm not going to do shoot. Should have had another pan waiting. And I did. No, did I? That's fine. That's just going to have to get wasted. Maybe I'll get some beautiful patterns in the bottom of it, but. If I keep messing with it, I'll drive myself crazy. I'm trying to save that paint. It's monk yeah, it's just paint. Wow, and it's given it this really cool texture of like actual eggshell. That is really killer. Who knows, maybe I can just pawn this off as one of the largest chicken eggs anybody's ever seen in their life. And it's gonna be party. <laughs> I hope. We'll see. We'll see, it's just paint. I can always like, do it again. All right, that's enough of that. Oops, forgot to do something, shoot. Now it's gonna be a pain in the butt to do it. I've been wiping off my lids and man, that has made my life incredibly easy getting those lids off. You know, that arthritis all setting in at my age. I know plastic, but if you put like some saran wrap between the lid and the container, it won't stick. It keeps them from sticking to each other, even if they're messy. But I've just learned to do that. I'm cool. All right. Let me tell you my colors, that was just white. That is just an interior acrylic latex white paint that I added Floetrol and water to. We're gonna be using um, Dioxazine Purple, um, and this is by um, 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 Liquitex, sorry. No, not by Liquitex. This is by um, Art, Deco Art. Yes, thank you. And that is mixed with, all my stuff is mixed with Floetrol and water. We're also gonna be using, this is a really deep, 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 deep blue. You can see it right here dried. I don't know which one it was, I didn't write it down. And it's gonna be dark. And it's also gonna have some um, metallic shimmer to it because I put a ton of Blue Ghost in it as well. And Blue Ghost is by a company called Paint by Pearl. And it's a car paint additive, which paint is paint and it's, what those iridescent mica mediums are, um, media, mica powders are anyway. It's, it's all mica powders. And then I don't know if I'm gonna use both of these browns, but I've got um, rose gold um, and Floetrol, and this is by Craft Smart. Uh, and then I've got Burt Umber and Floetrol, and this is by Art Advantage. And there is one drop of silicone in each one of these bottles. And then I've got, um, Cerulean Blue, and that's by Art Advantage. Then I mixed me up some Diamond Gold Pearl, and this is by a company, that's their emblem, so y'all can see it. And this is what it looks, this is what it looks like when it's wet. It looks a lot different when it's dry. And I mixed that with some Floetrol and um, water and Gloss Medium, because I did not want it to dry real quick. Because you know how quick Gloss Medium dries like lickety splickety and when it does if it dries too fast it causes cracking so and i don't want this to crack i think it's going to be too pretty so this is what i'm going to do okay hold on i gotta reset my countertop halogen convection oven that i just got i'm cooking a chicken for the first time it's been screaming it's hot in here Adult baby. All right. And what else do I got? Okay, so the dioxazine purple, I've already pre-mixed because that's from a concentrate. I'm going to do it all in this cup, okay? Now, I am going to attempt, when I am ready, just to 
kind of tilt this back, or I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I ain't lying, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna try to just flip it all at once. Um, so I need, some, I'll need more white, but I have that in the bottle. Yes, I'm like this all the time. No need to make fun of me, I already know. Here we go. What is this? Is this just what? Or is this iridescent medium? That's what? Oh God, that texture's cool. Can y'all see that? Is that translating very well? It is. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Looks like, a, looks like a really big egg. Well, guess what? It is. It's just not real. Mm -hmm. Time to do a little surgery. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know I bragged about these bottles and was preaching on and on and on. Don't waste your damn money. <laughs> I'm glad they were free. But I will use them till they fall apart. You live, you learn. They were free for me, for me. But you get 50 of them for $23. It's just you have to always clean out that tip if you don't get it right away and scrape it off. These were meant for more wash and pull away from the nether regions when somebody is having problems with the nether regions in the hospital. Oh God, speaking of, see I got a piece of chicken. I thought that was poo. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Oh, I want to spray my cup with silicone. I just want to dust it so everything will fall off and out of this cup. Because I'm not going to use, I'm going to use quite a bit of paint. There. And as long as it doesn't eat through that cup, I'll be happy. This should be a pretty quick video, I'm hoping, anyway. It's going to happen. Just making sure all the sides get hit. That's a lot of silicone in there. So, I'm going to off cast it. Where? Right there on the... Right there. All right, a little bit of white. Okay, I'm just gonna start pouring color in here. I hope y'all can see, because I don't have much more light. And I'm trying to beat the sun down right here, too. I'm gonna go lighter to darker. No, I'm gonna go lighter. First in, last out. So light. First in, last out. I want dark speed. The purple. And I'm gonna layer it. This is probably the wrong order I need to do this in, and I really don't care. So, I'm gonna put a little bit of gold in there. In between all the layers, just let it mix in. And this stuff is already pre-mixed. And I shook it up, and I'm just gonna try to, what is that? Okay, I hope that doesn't screw stuff up. Hold up. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the sides with the cup, see? So it does, I don't want it to mix, really. I want there to be something in between them, so I'm gonna use white. Cause, and oh, by the way, we're gonna use some dark brown in this too. And then that ceridium blue for a little pop. And, Love that cerulean blue. And this is probably going to cover all this stuff up. That gold looks really good in there. That's a lot of paint. And I want some light brown in there too. Well, actually, this is the rose gold. I think that'll look pretty next to that other gold. I'm going to put some white in there. I'm the last. Oh, it's already gonna know that this. Oh, she put some kind of wig in there too. So I will. I'll just shoot something like that. <laughs> so, now I'm gonna do that, 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 that. And you gotta wipe the tops off or they clog up. But they're real pliable. That's what I will say good about them. They're real pliable. But they were $23.50 of them and I haven't used all 50 of them yet, so I'm still going at it. And I'm making do. I just spoke too soon, which I tend to do a lot. Okay. Oh, this is Concrete Coat Canvas Systems. And then I think I told you the um, uh, Blue Ghost is by a company called Cake by Pearl. You can get them both on Amazon. And a little bit goes a long way. Go ahead and tell you, they recommend a tablespoon per quart of clear liquids. Uh, like, well, if you hit the cars, it's, it doesn't matter. It's all the same stuff. Anyhow, um, for my applications, for a cup, I use a quarter teaspoon. And it's almost too much. Okay, so here we go. Wish me luck. Oh, wow. Well, see what happens. That's a lot of paint. And a lot of it went down one side. Look at something how cool. Alright, just keep on moving now. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it alone. 
It's just gonna be a quick one, y'all, so I'm just gonna let it rest. And do its thing, and then I'm gonna play with that paint. As soon as I get this done, that's, gonna, that's going somewhere. That is going somewhere. And we're gonna go into torch this. Oh my god, it's really cool. <laughs> Yay. It should have been close. I'm just gonna pull the rest of this out. This has got some browns in it. Right there. Maybe I'm shaking already. I think I've done something wrong. It may just happen. No, it's looking really cool. Yeah, that's enough white. I think I just put some more blue. I'm gonna stand up. And that is still gonna be running for a while. So we don't know what's gonna happen. It's looking kinda cool though. It's just paint. What's next? Yeah, like, I, like I'm gonna leave this alone. Hell to the no, I'm not gonna leave it alone. I got to do it. What more purples in here? So. Yeah, I'm just gonna put some purples in here. Wow. Definitely a good addition. Definitely, I think that's a little bit. And let's see that something again with. Oh, 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 oh. Kids are singing. Did y'all just hear that? <laughs> I can't sing. I sound like a wicked cat in a milking pail. I do. And I know what they sound like. Now you smell these cows, you know? They are the dumbest animals in the world, you know? I told my friend, my food eats your food because you're a vegetarian. Yeah! <laughs> that is beautiful. I don't want a purple egg, though. I'm gonna make it long. Can I just do that? Do you? Ooh, this side's not so pretty as that one. So I'm gonna go one more time. Some different colors. Some more in there. This is turning out phenomenal. Alright, watch. Run in the water, can't use it anymore. This one too. Yeah, see, can't use it for a second. Stop it, stop it. Done, done, done. If I don't quit banging this table around, my eggs are gonna fall over, and I'm gonna be very, very upset. I can't do it to myself. Ta da, I'm gonna get torch. Is it missing precariously? Ah, oh, it's beautiful. So, what did I do with that thing? I had it yesterday, I showed it to somebody, and I hope I'm gonna see it. What the hell? Excuse me. So, now, the paint's gonna flow. Oh, hell yes. And that is that. Oh, I need it. I'm going to prove it to you, y'all. That is... Put it in the paint, boy. No, I'm not going to put it over here, so it's hard to get to. Because this stuff is addicting. There really needs to be an acrylic pouring addict anonymous. Really There's a guy on YouTube that sent me a message that... I can't remember his name. But he said he was going to start with the group. And I said, well, I don't want to be at that meeting. <laughs> anyway, if I tell him I didn't have a problem with acrylic pouring paint, I just don't. There's not an issue here. I just can't stop doing it. That's not an unhealthy thing. That looks phenomenal. I need to put a little bit more heat on. I am upset about my torch. I probably set it somewhere. Too high, and can't remember where I put it. Because I got nifty stuff, and my friends like to borrow. Oh, that looks amazing. Okay. Oh my gosh, and it even made a little heart here on top. Which, I'm not real fond of little hearts, but it's kind of cute. Somebody will buy it. Maybe... I'll like it later. I loved that red when I first did it. So now I'm gonna think I'm gonna drop some gold on there because it's setting up so it will look like drips. And that's what I want it to look like, drips. Yeah, I'm not digging that. That was not easy to move. So let me do that. All right, guys, I'll get your final pictures when I get them. Okay, guys, that egg did not turn out well at all. It dried. Horribly. I'm not quite sure what the problem is. I think I have an idea. And I think it's because I put a slip on it first, which is the wet paint. And because of the shape of the egg, and of course it is 3D, by the time it got down here, it was just pulling on this drying paint up here, and it just cracked all over, and it just it looked hideous. It looked horrible. So, <coughs> excuse me, I put a... Um, a layer of gesso on it, which I made by the way. They made my own gesso now, that's awesome. Um, try all the recipes sometime. I'm not, you know, I'm not done, I'm too, who knows. Anyway, so, then I painted it with um, a 2.0 black by culturehustle.com. And the colors I'm going to use tonight, I'm going to use a little bit different, I'm starting with a wet egg. I'm using, and everything is mixed with blow troll and water only. There isn't any silicone yet, I haven't made it in my mind yet. Um, I'm using Martha Stewart, metallic, and that's how it dries. It dries beautifully. It's really, really nice. I don't know if you see that. Uh, there you go. It's, uh, I love her paint, I think they're great. Um, the black is um, 2.0 black by culturehustle.com. I'm going to use some white. Which is just titanium by, 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 um, yeah, by Artist Loft. And then I've got Green Flash by Folk Art. And it's a color shifting paint, which is just absolutely amazingly beautiful when it dries. Um, and then, of course, it's silver. And then I've got, there's the black. Ooh, I got a good suction on that. 
But it's sure hell wanting to tip over. I don't want it to, so. That didn't work well. 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 I don't know, maybe it did. Maybe that was just a blessing in disguise. Actually, that's kind of cool. Alrighty, I can do this over again. Shit. Okay. Come here. I still got time. We can fix this. Screw the white. The table looks cool, um, but I've got some really cool stuff going on down here that I'm just gonna be some new jewelry. Here we go. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we have some more of that black. Mix some of this red a little bit. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> All right, let's try this. This might be one of those eggs. Okay, that's badass. That is phenomenal right there. All right. We're gonna leave this alone from here on out. Let that just see what it's gonna do. And there is nothing going on underneath there. 